Hello students, welcome to Vance classes. Let's do playing with numbers exercise 8D. Question 3. Find the least number which when divided by 15, 25, 40 and 50 leaves no remainder. That means you must find a number when you divide it by 15, divide by 25 or 40 or 50 there should be no remainder. So we have to find a number like that and that should be the least number because there will be many numbers that will be divisible by all th all four numbers here and it will not leave any remainder. We have to find the least number. Now, the least number that is exactly divisible by each of these given numbers is their LCM. Divisible by all these is the LCM. That means we have to find the LCM of these numbers. So required number is the LCM of these numbers. So let's begin by finding the LCM of 15, 25, 15, 25, 40 and 50. We have to find the LCM of these. So now let's begin by dividing these by 5. 5 is a prime number. Now let's divide it. Now 5 threes are 15, 5 fives are 25, 5 eights are 40, 5 tens are 50. Now let's continue. This time we'll again divide it by 5 and here we'll have 3 as it is. 5 ones are 5, 8 and 5 twos are 10. Now let's go on to 2. Let's divide it by 2. So here 3 comes down as it is. 1 we write as it is. 2 fours are 8 and 2 ones are 2. Let's continue to divide by 2. So 3 comes down as it is, 1 also, then 2 twos are 4 and 1 comes down as it is. Now again by 2, let's divide. So 3, bring it down, 1, 2 ones are 2 and 1. Now the last step, we divide by 3. So we get 1 and that's it. So all, everything else is 1. So now the LCM, LCM will be Multiplication of all these. So there are two fives, five into five. Now how many twos are there? There are three twos. Two into two into two and three. So we have written down all these numbers. So two fives and then one, two, three twos and one three. Now let's multiply these. Five fives are 25. You can group them up and multiply. Two twos are four, four twos are eight. So 25 into eight into three. 25 into eight is 200. So that is 200 into 3. 200 into 3, 2 3s are 6. Then you add 2 zeros. So we have LCM is equal to 600. That means the required number. The required number is 600. That is our answer. So they've asked us to find the least number. So the least number is the required number and that is 600. That is if you divide 600 by 15, 25, 40 and 50, all these numbers, there will be no remainder and this is the least number. Question 4. Find the smallest number which when divided by 18, 36 and 48 leaves a remainder of 7. So whenever we are asked to find the smallest number like this, we have to find the LCM of that number. Now here it says this number leaves a remainder of 7. That means it is this number is 7 more than the LCM. So that means we find the LCM and add 7 to it. So required number will be LCM of these three numbers plus 7. So first thing we have to do is find the LCM. So let's find the LCM of 18, 36 and 48. So let's find the LCM of this now. Let's begin by dividing it by 2. 2 is the prime number. 2 nines are 18. Then 2 into 18 is 36. 2 into 24 is 48. Now we continue with 2. So let's divide it by 2. So here 9 we can't divide. So we bring it down as it is. Then we have 18. 2 9s are 18. We have 24. 2 into 12 is 24. So continue again by 2. So let's divide again by 2 because we have 12 there. Now 9 is not divisible, so we bring it down. Here also 9, we bring it down. We have 12. 2 6s are 12. So let's continue to divide by 2 as much as we can. So 2 again. So here 9, we bring it down. Not divisible. 9, not divisible. 6. 2 3s are 6. 
Now we can't divide by 2 anymore because none of these numbers are divisible by 2. So we're going to divide by 3. So let's divide this by 3. So 3 3s are 9. Here also 3 3s are 9 and 3 1s are 3. Again we can divide by 3. So that will be 3 1s are 3, 3 1s are 3 and we bring down this one. That's it. So now let's find the LCM. So LCM will be now, how many twos are there? One, two, three, four twos. So let's put all the twos together. One, two, three, four twos. Then we have threes. We have two threes. So that is three into three. Three into three. Now let's multiply all the twos. Two twos are four. Four twos are eight. Eight twos are sixteen. So when we multiply this, we got sixteen into 3 3's are 9. 16 into 9. Let's multiply 16 into 9 and see. 6, 9 6 are 54. Carry 5. 9 ones are 9 plus 5 is 14. So LCM is 144. So this is the LCM. Now to find the required number what should we do? We first find the LCM. To that we add 7. So the required number will be 144 plus 7. So let's add that up. 144 plus 7. 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. Plus 1, 151. So the required number is 151. And this is our answer. 151. Question 5. Find the smallest number which when increased by 11 is completely divisible by 16, 24, 40 and 45. So again, smallest number means we must find the LCM. Now they're saying we have to increase that number by 11. Only then it is completely divisible. That means we find the LCM and take away 11 from it. Only then we'll find that smallest number. So required numbers, LCM of these four numbers minus 11. So let's find the LCM of 16, 24, 40, and 45. So let's begin by dividing this by 2. So let's divide it by 2 and see what we get. So here we have 16. So 2 8s are 16. 24, 2 12s are 24. 40, 2 2s are 4. So 2 into 20 is 40. 45 we can't divide, so we bring it down as it is. Now let's continue to divide by 2 itself. So let's divide it by 2. 2 4s are 8. 2 6s are 12. Now we have 20. 2 10s are 20. 45 comes down as it is. Again, we can divide this by 2. So let's continue to divide. So this will be 2 2s are 4. Then we have 6. 2 3s are 6. We have 10. 2 5s are 10. And 45. So again, let's continue to divide by 2 itself because we have a 2 there. Now 2 1s are 2. We bring down 3 because it's not divisible by 2. We bring down 5 as well as 45. Now here we have 3, 5 and 45. We cannot use 2 anymore. We can use 3 or we can use 5 itself. Let's use 5 and then we can use 3 later. So now 5. So here 1 remains as it is. 3 is not divisible so it remains as it is. Now 5 1s are 5. We have 45. 5 9s are 45. Now we can't use 5. Now we can use 3. So let's use 3 and divide. So we write 1 as it is. 3 1s are 3, 1 and 3 3s are 9. So we continue again. So here it is 3, 1, 1, 1 and 3 1s are 3. Now we can find our LCM. Let's take all the 2s. How many 2s are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 2s. So that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Now how many 3s do we have? 1, 2. We have 2 3s. So 3 into 3 and we have 1, 5. So that is into 5. So now let's multiply all the 2s together. 2 2s are 4. 4 2s are 8. 8 2s are 16. So here we've got 16. Now here we have 3 3s are 9 into 5. So this we can still do it as 16 into 
9 fives are 45. So let's multiply 16 into 45 and see what we get. 16 into 45. 5 6 are 30, carry 3. 5 ones are 5, 6, 7, 8. Second step, 4 sixes are 24, carry 2. 4 ones are 4, 5, 6. So here we have 0. 8 plus 4 is 12, carry 1, 7, 20. So the LCM is 720. Now, to find the required number, what should we do? We should find the LCM and minus 11 from it. So to find the required number, we say 720 minus 11. Let's subtract 720 minus 11. Here we carry over 10 minus 1 is 9. 0 and here we have 7. So 709 is the required number and this is our answer. Question 6. Find the LCM and HCF of these two numbers 24 and 30. Then we have to find divide the LCM obtained by the HCF. And then we have to answer this question. Is the LCM completely divisible by HCF? So there are different things to do. What is the first thing we have to do? Find the LCM of 24 and 30. So let's do that. So first thing is LCM of 24 and 30. Let's begin. So 24 and 30. Now let's divide this by 2. So 2 and when we divide 24 by 2, 2 twelves are 24 and 2 into 15 is 30. Since we have a 12 there, we'll continue to divide by 2. So here we get 2 into 6 is 12. 15 is not divisible, so we bring it down as it is. We can continue to divide by 2 because there is a 6 there. So 2 3s are 6 and 2 into uh, uh, nothing is 15. So we bring down 15 as it is. So now we can't divide 3 or 15 by 2. So we're going to divide it by 3 this time. So when we divide it by 3, what do we get? 3 1s are 3 and 3 5s are 15. Now we can't use 3, we're going to use 5. So let's use 5 here. So 1 we bring down as it is and 5 1s are 5. So we've got that. Now we're going to find the LCM of 24 and 30 by multiplying all these. So 1, 2, 3, 2s are there. So that is 2 into 2 into 2 and then we have a 3 and then we have a 5. So now let's multiply. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. So here we have 8 into, now here we can multiply 15. So 8 into 15. 8 into 15 is 120. So we have found the LCM. The LCM is 120. Now the next thing is we have to find the HCF. So now let's find the HCF of these three numbers, these two numbers, HCF. We can use any method. We know different methods. Now let's use the division method, which is the easiest. So we're going to divide 30 by 24. So we have 24 ones are 24. Now 30 minus 24 is 6. 6 and then we continue to divide. We bring 24 inside. Now we have 24 divided by 6. That is 6 fours are 24. So we have found the HCF also. So the HCF will be this number. Remember the last divisor which will give us 0 as the remainder will be the HCF. So the HCF of 24 and 30 is 6. So we have found the LCM and we have found the HCF. So this is the HCF here. So let's write that HCF is 6. Now what is the next part? Next thing that we need to do. Here it says divide the LCM obtained. That means we got 120 by the HCF which is 6. So dividing the LCM obtained by the HCF. So LCM is 120 divided by the HCF which is 6. So let's divide and see 120 divided by 6. 6 twos are 12 minus 0 and 0 here. So the remainder is 0 because 6 into 20 will give us 120. Now the next question is, is LCM completely divisible by the HCF? So can you see the LCM 120 is completely divisible by 6 because our remainder is 0. So we can write that. We can say LCM 
is completely divisible by the HCF. Now, if you take any two numbers, their LCM is always divisible by their HCF. So, this has helped us understand that better. You must remember, if you take any two numbers, the LCM will always be completely divisible by their HCF. Let's stop with that for now, children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you, children.